first things first, we have to feed the baby, right? You ready to go downstairs, start the day? Let's go. Now, once we get up, it's kind of nice. Ryan and I kind of switch off. He gives me, he takes the girls downstairs, gets them ready with breakfast and stuff. So I get like five, 10 minutes to just get myself together, brush my teeth, and I've gotten my makeup routine down in five minutes. As you can see, I rarely get dressed. It's typically a tank top or a t-shirt. Sometimes I'll put on a fancy shirt, but it's typically shorts, yoga pants, sweatpants, my signature work from home couture. Uh, but I do put my face together because you never know when you gotta hop on a Zoom. Um, this is everything I use for makeup. Um, I've got my makeup routine down to five minutes. And then of course I grab my hoops because you always feel fancier with hoops. They fix everything. So it's getting to be the most important part of the morning. Chloe is gonna go into her bouncer. I'm gonna get the office ready for the day and get some creative juice. Then it's time to hear the most beautiful sound in the world. Now I'm a big oat milk latte fan, but with the baby, I've even had to find a quicker way, right? And the Keurig is just what I'm doing right now because uh, I just have to have coffee as soon as possible with a baby. And this cream right here, is everything. And if there's one life-changing tip I can give to anyone who works from home, it's get an ember mug. It keeps your coffee hot. I was one of those people that probably microwaved my coffee 20,000 bajillion times a day. This thing keeps it hot. It is worth <laughs> every penny. Anyway, Chloe's over in the office. It's time to get to work. And while Cam is getting ready for school in her room, getting dressed for the day, Chloe and I hang out in the office and get to work. Now, the very first thing I do after I get my coffee is check Slack. Slack is where I communicate with my team, my mentees, my social media management clients. And because my office hours are 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., I try not to check Slack at night. Doesn't always happen. But just in the morning, I make sure there's nothing pressing that I need to get to. Uh, so once I check in on Slack, make sure everyone's good to go, I go fuel up for the day. Then I have my eggs, my avocado toast with red pepper flakes with a side of the Today Show. Now I also use this time to create my crush the day list on Instagram stories, but I also like to put the phone down after that and engage on Instagram on my laptop. So I'll go through the feed, like and comment on some posts just to catch up with people. Uh, it's just nice to put the phone down, but it's also a great way to catch up on DMs is on your laptop. It is so much faster to go through and uh, respond to people this way, but it's also just nice to put the phone down. Okay, I'm still in virtual school, so that's probably a pretty easy part of the morning. We just put her in her playroom slash office. Say hello. Have a good day, my love. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Mwah. She's so good. So once my engagement hour is complete, I've caught up with DMs, it's time to get back into the office and get to work. Now with my week, I typically map out my days a little different. Mondays, I usually focus on my own content. Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursdays, focus on client work, social media management, Zoom calls with mentees. Today in particular, I am scheduling out content for our social media management clients. My team and I do everything in Google Sheets. We have the caption, the photo, the link to the photo so I can grab it. Um, I look over everything the team created for our clients. We submit it to the client. Once the client approves, I go in Creator Studio and schedule it out so we can set it and forget it. I highlight um, the columns in our signature coral color so the client knows it's scheduled on Creator Studio so they can know that their content is ready to go and get back to doing what they love. So I'm gonna go in right now and just literally copy the caption, go into Creator Studio, make sure all the mentions, hashtags, everything's correct, photo, et cetera, schedule it on Instagram and Facebook, and then um, get on with the rest of my day. And at this point, as you can see, content is scheduled, so the client's happy, the team is happy, I am happy. Usually at this point, I will take a pause, put Chloe down for a nap, but I will also check in on Instagram stories and document some part of my day, maybe share what I'm working on, share a post that someone else created, just to check in and then recheck in with uh, DMs. So from 11 to one, Camden gets a break from school, so it's kind of nice having her in virtual school still. We take the baby on a walk, get some fresh air, take her baby on a walk. Who's your baby? Kari. <laughs> That's a new one. We have yeah, lots of babies. Yeah. We're big Baby Alive fans, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, beautiful day here in Cary, North Carolina. Love this time with you. Yeah. So I just got Chloe down for her nap. I'm grabbing some food for Cam. I'm gonna make 
for some lunch. And to be honest, I'm terrible about eating lunch. <laughs> I try to meal prep, I always fail, but I do at this point usually grab something. I'm obsessed with these at Target. Um, just some protein, and I usually like grab cheese stick, some blueberries, and I'll make her a sandwich. Usually once she's eaten, Chloe's had her next feeding, then I'll make a salad or something, or I'll try to, but I'm terrible about eating lunch. Send tips. But this is also the time of day where I hop on stories again and I share a tip. So I already did my crush of the day list. I shared my workspace showing um, everyone on Instagram what I'm up to for the day, what I'm working on, and now it's time to share a tip. Usually I share a tip on Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook. So unfortunately, Chloe's nap was cut short. She woke up a little earlier than normal, so I just gave her a bottle and I'm back at my desk. It is time to check in with Slack again, make sure um, uh, everyone is caught up with. And actually, I'm getting messages from our social media management clients because as we're gearing up for the next uh, chunk of content to create, so I'm gonna drop more photos into the Google Sheets and alert my team that the photos are in there and they can start making captions. So as you can see here, actually, Nicole is already in here, so she's adding some photos as well. So I'm dropping photos, she's dropping a couple too, and we will go in and start adding captions, the date of the post, and then we'll submit to the client for approval for next week when they're ready to go. Um, and also around this time is when I check in with the Facebook group. So Social Biz System, which is the course I have for social media managers, Almost daily, there's a question in here from a social media manager with a client issue or just a general question. So I go in and support them that way too. Now the other Facebook group I manage is obviously the Social Squad Society, the membership I have with Emily. So, uh, I mean, daily our girls are drop are asking questions and we often like to just go in and kind of li leave tips for them, whether it's like trending audio, some reels ideas, anything that kind of comes to Emily and I said, we drop in here, remind them of, of, of um upcoming trainings, uh, remind them when new captions are in the portal, things like that. So this is usually the time of day that I try to get on Facebook and check in with groups smack in the middle of the day while Cam's watching a show um, right before she goes back to virtual school since it's still COVID times. Um, and then what I do is typically go back onto Instagram and uh, catch up with DMs, kind of play around with Instagram because it is my happy place. Um, and then I'll get back to captions and checking in with what Nicole has been working on. All right, so as you can see, Nicole and I have been working on captions. We can kind of see what each other are doing and we can um, add words as we go and help each other come up with fun ideas. Obviously with 4th of July coming up, we're trying to think of some fun, catchy, a little sayings. Um, I just love creating captions. Because I love creating captions so much, it's why I'm still a social media manager after all these years. I simply love it. My agency, we typically work with people in the home space, so home design, realtors, mortgage lenders, etc. And we just have a blast doing it. It's um, one tip I always give social media managers. If you're trying to figure out who you want to work with, think of accounts that you like to follow. Because uh, while we're not typically an expert in what our clients do, if you're consuming a lot of that type of content, it's typically, you're gonna find it a lot of fun to create content for those types of industries. And you know, just to keep it all the way real, there are lots of breaks where I have to pick Chloe up, give her some love, and she's got hiccups right now, she's got reflux. Some days not everything gets done, and that's okay. But um, just make sure, especially if you're, uh, if you are going into the social media management world and your mom, just give yourself grace, but know that everything will get done as long as you carve out that time. Um, and delegate tasks that you need to. All right, y'all, we are ending our day on the back deck. <laughs> Chloe's eating her fingers. We're about to chow down. We've been grilling. <laughs> Little Modelo Especial with my honey. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Don't leave me hanging. It's been a good day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't always get done. Not everything. But we end the day on a high note. <laughs> Get this on camera, me eating <laughs> veggies, any sort. Praise the Lord, he but did it. Finishing Caesar, though. <laughs> Cheers, friends. Cheers.